Hey folks, it's James from the Movie Mad Channel here and I'm doing what we call well I call it my house a big poly special <laughs> well I call it that no, I just made that up I don't know why I said that but uh, I've taken my daughter to you know what I'm actually turn around because the sun's right in my eyes You're not like to film when you're driving, aren't you? As long as you're not touching it. Right. Let's turn round. Oh, safety first. Your sun's away now. <laughs> but it's only by the cloud. Let's just go and turn round. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I can just face the other way. That's what I'll do. I'll just turn around this way and that'll be easier and then the sun will be in my eyes again. Here we go. That's better. <laughs> right, let's sit back a bit. Right, there we go. So, I wa wa was... I've Look, a minute and a half and I'm jabbing around, I've not even said what I'm doing yet. So I've me taking my daughter, who's trying out for the Scottish Cat team, and practice at a event, and it's pretty far away from my house. I've been mean, half an hour, 45 minutes away from my house. So, instead of going back, because by the time I got back and I got back again, again, I would be... I'll just be wasting my time. So I'm just going to wait here for the hour and a half. And because I knew I was going to be waiting here for an hour and a half, I brought all my DVD pickups with me and I thought I'd film a video. But I got hungry. So I went and found a garage and I thought, I actually split, went around looking for a wee shop first. And then, then I drove past the garage and I was getting further and further away. And I thought, nah, let's just go back to the garage. So I've got myself a meal deal at the garage. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Southern fried chicken wrap. Corn cocktail crisps. And I have to say my favourite, and I never buy it in the house, because if I buy it in the house, I just drink it all. And that's no good for me. No good for me at all. So I'm going to eat this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my DVD pickups. I think there might actually be a couple of Blu-rays in there as well. Maybe one. We'll soon see when we'll dive into the bag. So I'll see you in a minute or two. Well, it'll be 10 seconds for you. But in reality, it's probably less 10 seconds because we'll probably demolish them that time. <laughs> so we'll see you in a minute. Hey, folks, welcome back. So in reality, that was probably about five or six minutes. And I didn't eat the crisps. I'm thinking I'm full. I had the, the, the wrap and that was good enough. And the Coke. So there you go. I might save the crisps to give to my daughter. If she sees this video and I've ate them, well, I'm very sorry. I lied. <laughs> so uh, I'll show you what I picked up. First one I picked up, and I have never seen the series, but I've seen the film, and I always thought that this was based on. The film was based on based on this, and this is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, created by Douglas Adams. And it was in the charity shop, but it was one ninety nine, and I thought, could I get that at CEX cheaper? I had a look, and it was about the same price, but this copy is brand new and sealed. And it says, the six-part cult TV series from 1981, in its entirety, two epi episode two, four, and six are longer than originally broadcast, available with either audio, mono, television soundtrack, or a digitally remastered stereo soundtrack. Great, so it's got, and it's got tons of special features on it. It's got the making of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Don't Panic, additional making of material, an introduction to the first episode by Peter Jones recorded live at the NFT, communicate behind the scenes of the radio series, the original BBC2 episode 1 trailer, deleted scenes behind the scenes, Tomorrow's World anima Animatronics, Rod and Lord... And A.G. Wells appearance on Pebble Well at 1. Outtakes. Wall Gallery. 
and on-screen production notes. So I thought, you know, it's quite weird that you'd buy that, never watch it, keep it sealed, because it's been clearly been bought in 2000 and something, and then never been used. But So that's why I picked that one up. Pretty happy to get that one. I've got so many, I don't know where I'm going to put them. This is going to be a long video, folks, so brace yourself. And you know what? Sometimes it's good to watch a long video. I sometimes go at the, the YouTube videos and I watch people's 4K and movie collections, even though they've done it last year, and I watch them again. And I'm like, it's just relaxing. And I enjoy watching them and I enjoy seeing people talking about movies. I don't know if anyone enjoys me. Well, some of you do, hopefully. Uh, what I was going to say there is I th was thinking about doing my whole Blu-ray collection again for this year. If anyone wants to me to do that, then I will. I'll probably do it anyway because I like sitting going through them What and, uh, shall we say, talking about movies. And I must have a pretty decent difference since last year. Well, let's get back to the pickups. So the next ones, I think these were all 10 for a pound at the charity shop and I cut 10 and then I had 11 so I had to get another 9 <laughs> I didn't have to but I, but I was thinking I'm not going to pay a pound for one when I can get 10 for a pound am I <laughs> so this one I picked up is 1408 and I don't know if I've got this in my DVD collection already but I remember I watched this and I thought it was a really really good film and can I remember anything about it? No, but I just remember it being good. So I picked that one up. And I think, if I remember rightly, I did actually check the discs when I was uh, at the the charity shop. And this one was pretty much perfect, and it is. So I thought, even if I have got it, this one's pretty minty fresh. So I'll probably replace my one, because some of my ones are a wee bit scratched and things like that. So I thought, for 10p, it's well worth the risk if I haven't got it. And if I have got it, I can replace my scratched one. Or my, I'll keep the best one, shall we say. So I'll pick that up too. Next one I picked up is Vengeance Valley. Burt Lancaster. And uh, I always noted that there's some older movies, you know, they used to be on at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, nah, I'm not watching that rubbish but now as i've got older i've sort of learned to appreciate how good cinema some of them are and i wonder if this is one of them i probably rejected back then and it's but the and vengeance valley is clearly like a cowboy film what glances for his own daybridge who's adopted son of rancher but ever since he can remember he's been covering up for wrongdoings of his no good stepbrother lee ah Vengeance, brotherly love and all that. And I checked the disc on this one. Oh, this is in the check it well because there is a few scratches. But for 10p, again, to the risk. You're going to hear that phrase a lot from me right now. 10p. <laughs> I actually seen on Facebook Marketplace somebody selling, not selling, giving away 200 DVDs for free. And I was going to drive and get them. And then I went, no, you're doing 200 DVDs, what am I going to do with that? Probably all stuff I've got already anyway, but I was tempted. <laughs> I probably should have done it. What else did I pick up? Oh yes, Nico Above the Law from Steven Seagal. I don't remember seeing this one, but this is Steven Seagal in his prime. Knowing he's later, I'll do any movie you want phase. He's probably going to come and beat me up now, isn't he? Yep. And again, perfect disc, perfect condition. And if you are buying DVDs and you're going to keep them for a long time, I think it is important now that you do get them as good condition as you can. I'm going to contradict myself later in this because I'll show you why. But, so, Chicago Cop Nico is on his way to something like drugs raids, so... Pam Greer's in this. Sharon Stone's in it as well. See? Not bad. 
And I've been watching YouTube and sometimes it gives you recommendations. And the last few times it's given me comedians say or Americans rec a stand up. It's just, you know, like two or three minutes, one joke or something like that. And I've seen one of her DVDs in the charity shop and to be honest I was struggling to find another movie at the time so I thought why not why not why not take Sarah Merlin I think I wouldn't normally buy comedian blu-rays or, or DVDs or anything like that but I just thought it might be worth to watch this one if I ever do there you go And it is perfect condition again. I was just reading that in there because it's got our home word tour from 2013. But she's still advertising that on her YouTube channel. That must be ongoing. There we go. Ah, here's the Blu-ray that was in the 10 for a pound as well. And it's Clash of the Titans. I haven't actually ever seen this. And I think I might actually have it in my collection, but I wasn't 100% sure. And you've guessed it, for Ted B, <laughs> I was going to take it. And plus, even if I don't, it's got a double case that I can use. Even if I do, it's got a double case I can use instead. So, Clash of Titans. I should be reading this out to you, but I'm not. Oh well, in the Clash of the Titans, the ultimate struggle for power pits men against the kings and kings against gods. Sam Worthington. Is he the one in Terminator Salvation? I don't think he was very good in that, to be honest with you. Okay, so what else have we got in here? Ooh. Let's see. We have confidence, and it looks like it's an absolutely ancient DVD. Look at the state of that case. But the reason I picked it up is got Edward Burns, Rachel Wise, Andy Garcia, and Dustin Hoffman, and it looks like and it looks like a impossible heist or lose his life, Dustin Hoffman. Yes, it's like a, it's like an Ocean's Eleven, I think. Oh, look, this is a block, that's probably why, look, that's a blockbuster case. No, seeing that, I might just keep that for nostalgic value. And it's absolutely decided just to start pouring here. And again, disc is in perfect shape. If you ever had these movies, you'd have never watched them. I was thinking, if it's Blockbuster, surely somebody would have watched it. That is a weird case. I think I might just keep that case for that reason. What else did we get? Oh, yes.